Hi everyone, it's Goran from Vector. Today I'm going to show you the LG 290P TEA with GNSS TEA EVB kit. This combination is a very convenient platform that allows you to become familiar with our new quad-band high-precision module. The LG 290P TEA carries our new multi-constellation and quad-band GNSS module, featuring a high-performance, high-reliability positioning engine. LG 290P integrates an RTK position engine to provide sentimental level positioning. The module supports RTK functionality as rover and RTCM data output as base station. The GNSS TAA EVB serves as a testing platform for compatible TEA GNSS models, providing all necessary connections and components for evaluating standard precision, high precision, and dead reckoning features. This module offers the benefit of autonomous RTK network setup and enables logging and output of GNSS modules under testing. Easy to set up and connect, it provides all the necessary conditions to test all features of our GNSS modules. Additionally, it includes a USB connection feature for firmware upgrades. We have packed all the accessories you need so you can quickly start testing your TA GNSS module. Let's dive and explore the evaluation kit. This kit contains LG 290P TEA Evaluation Board, GNSS TEA Evaluation Board, Type-C USB cable, two pieces, LTA components, EG25 GTEA, LTA antenna, LTA RF cable, multiband active antenna YEGB006U1A, two pieces, nuts and bolts. Now, Let's get more familiar with main elements of the LG 290P TEA and GNSS TEA evaluation board. Here we can see the LG 290P TEA evaluation board. It has integrated LG 290P quad band module with SMA connection for GNSS antenna. Here we can see GNSS TEA evaluation board. EVB is sensitive to jumper configuration. Please consult documentation for proper setup. SMA connector for RF4G, SMA connector for WTPPS testing, SMA connector 10 MHz output or forward signal, 7 LED signal indicators, wake up, reset, boot buttons, USB Type-C for data transmission and firmware upgrade for GNSS module, USB Type-C debugging the LTA module, power switch on off control, SMS and SD card slot, Auto connection used to input wheel tick and forward signals and eject vehicle speed information into GNSS module via CAN interface. Let's first attach standoffs so EVB is easier to operate. Next, we will connect the GNSS LG 290P TEA. Finally, we will connect the GNSS antenna. The first thing we need to do is to install the driver so we can communicate with our module. In order to do that, we are going to visit the FTD chip website, download, unpack and install the CDM212364 drivers. Let's now connect and turn on our EVB. First, we connect the USB connectors of the EVB to PC with the USB cable. To switch it on, we need to set the power switch to the on position. Great, we have successfully powered our module. Now we are going to connect QGNSS 2.0. We are choosing module type, port and boat rate. The module is connected, satellites are tracked and position solution is provided. We can also enable N-Trip client which will provide RTK corrections and enable centimeter level accuracy. This can be achieved in two ways. Using a wired connection to a laptop with internet access, this method will be demonstrated in this video. Using the AG25 GTAA module, to use the second method, the 4G module must be properly configured. For detailed instructions, please visit the Factel website or contact our regional sales team for support with this configuration. We are connecting over N3 client. The corrections are provided and the module achieved RTK fix solution. This will be all from today's unboxing. To find out more about Quactel's LG 290P TEA with GNSS TEA EVB kit, visit quactel.com, contact your regional sales team or our channel partners.